What's up everyone? I'm Don from Teak Life and welcome back to another episode of Something New here in the Teak Life Basement Bar. So if you recall, Something New is where we try something new, unique, maybe very alcoholic, but we're adding what's hot in the streets or maybe it's a brand new product on the market. With that being said, we're taking the show to an all new high and we are going to be trying, I'm just not even going to hold back anymore. We're getting right into it. We are going to be trying sea hemp flavored vodka. So if you know what hemp is, and we're going to get into that, you, you know what hemp is. And everybody knows what hemp is. So we're trying sea hemp vodka. Now sea vodka is kind of known, this is, the, this is what they proclaim, the world's best smooth tasting vodka. They use only the best natural products for an impurity, like just a pure vodka. I have never had C before. I don't know if any of you have. Comment below. Let me know what you think about C. But we're, I wanted to try something very unique, something different. And hemp flavored vodka just kind of screamed out to me. So this is made with the finest cannabis seeds. I don't know if there's a, I'm, I'm not a weed head. I'm just going to say it right now. I'm, I'm a drinker. I am a, your friendly intoxicologist. I will talk about this stuff all day long, but when it comes to the green, I, it's just not me. But, you know, to each his own. But finest cannabis seeds, I don't know if there's a difference between that and hemp seeds, because I do smoothies every morning and I throw some hemp seeds in it. And they're pretty delicious and it's like a superfood. So, Maybe this is a super drink food. I don't know, like an ACI berry or, you know, uh, 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 whatever. But maybe it's a super fruit. Maybe I'm just going to have so much power after I drink this. We'll see. It's supposed to have a fruity scent and a citrusy finish. So it sounds pretty inviting, but I don't know what hemp tastes like. All I know is talking to people about hemp, they make rope out of hemp, they make clothes out of hemp they make a lot of different things out of hemp so i've never heard of a hemp liquor before especially a hemp vodka so this is going to be really really interesting to taste now here's where i guess it gets a, a little interesting or it kind of deflates it there's no thc so if you know thc is the the compound that gets you high you know, gets you buzzed, gets, gets you, you, you stoned, whatever whatever the, the term the kids are using nowadays. Um, so there's no THC in it, so that makes it legal to sell. Um, I'm gonna grab a glass. I wanna smell this. I'm going to use the old signature Teak Life cocktail glass. We made some improvements, so you can check them out on the website. We have some really, really cool cocktail glasses, but let's um, crack this open and see it's a um yeah it's not really working it's not it's not opening which is fantastic so it's a metal cap and i guess i just had to put some muscle into it so it's a, a um it's a very expensive metal aluminum <laughs> cap and that's what we're that's what we're familiar with on on something new. Hopefully you you've seen the new teaser. I'm gonna set this right here so you can get a good. Now when I opened it, um, I can smell like some of the fruitiness. It smells kind of limey. Uh, it's it's definitely got like a lime smell to it. Um, I don't know. It smells like Kool Aid or something like that. It's it's very strong. Like you, it fills up this area. It's it's like a cloud of, not smoke, I know where you're going with that. It's like a cloud of lime. Um, yeah, it, it, it doesn't smell like weed at all. Now, I, I know what weed smells like. I've been around the block. Um, it doesn't smell like that. This smells like a very nice fruity cocktail. So, already, I'm feeling good about this. I, I like it. So... Getting back to cannabis before I take a, a drink, it, cannabis weed is known as a, a, a psychoactive drug from the cannabis plant. So I know it's got a ton of nicknames. 
I usually say what the nicknames are. We're not even gonna go for that. We're not even gonna try because it's just got so many. Just listen to a Dr. Dre album. You'll get them all. It's it smells really really good. Uh, cheers. Let's give it a try. So it it's it smells delicious. And I have no idea what the hell it is with something new, but I'm getting that black licorice taste again. And I have no idea. I know it's not because I'm drinking absinthe. But they're they're definitely it, it, it's like it's got a weird it doesn't taste how it smells. It really, it really doesn't. Like, it smells fantastic. It smells like a fruity pop or, you know, something you bring, you know, like a dull fruit pop or something. And, man, it smells so delicious. But when you take a taste, I don't know if that's the hemp. It's got a, it's got a funky aftertaste to it. I take, like, I taste some of that, like, black licorice, anise, or something like that. There is no weed smell. There is no weed taste. Um, I don't know what hemp, maybe it's the hemp, you know? It, I guess it kind of tastes like a rope because it's not, it's not delicious at all. Um, but maybe that's what happens when you put, you know, the cannabis seeds into a vodka. I don't know. Um, I know, you know, just going back to weed, people smoke it, people vape it, put it in food. I know edibles are extremely popular. They're all over the place. You can probably walk down, you know, the street and find a, a place with the green cross. Um, if you're in Detroit, you know what I'm talking about. They're all over. Um, you know, there's extracts. There, there's some, a lot of things going on. There's a huge movement with marijuana and for me, do what you do, tax it, make it legal, I could care less. I'm gonna stick with my drink, but I thought it would be interesting to try a drink with it. Um, and so far, I don't like it. But you know what, third time's a charm, so let's see. It's, it, you get accustomed to it. You know, like, if, if somebody's just slapping you in the face repeatedly, probably like after the fifth time, after I knocked him out, but the fifth time, like, you kind of get used to it, and that's what it, what's happening is I'm kind of used to it. I wouldn't really drink this on the rocks. Um, I guess you could put it into some sort of a um, uh, mixer, something like that, but... Yeah, it's it's very interesting. Let's talk a little bit more. Let's let's fill you in about this is going to be the, the weed episode. So, 2013, I mean, we just seen since then an increase in the use of marijuana. It has just gone crazy. 232 million people have used cannabis since 2013. And 4.9% of the glo almost 5% of the global population has done some sort of form of weed. So the edibles, smoking it, whatever it is. So weed is at an all time high. The US now is three times the global average. Imagine that. You know, we got a lot of things going on in, in the United States. We're not gonna talk anything about that right now, but it's also known as a gateway drug. It's kind of got that stigma. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, you know, I've never, it's just not my thing, so I don't know if I believe that. I don't know what el what, what would alcohol be. Is that another gateway drug? It's never led me to heroin. I've never done any of that, um, but I've, I've graduated to tequila. So maybe maybe that's an equivalent. I don't really know. Let's, let's, we're gonna do it all this episode. Yeah, it's, it's really got a black licorice and yeast taste. Um, not much burn, which is really good. It is smooth, so I gotta give them that. Now, I know Sea Vodka has some other flavors. Uh, I, like, I've never had them before, but this is smooth. I don't get a lot of burn. I just don't like the taste. I'm not a big fan of the taste. Um, 
you know I think the price point was about 30 bucks or something like that uh, you know that's not that's not too bad for me not dealing well with the taste of it you know 30 bucks is, is just kind of out of my price range um, you know there's a drop left so we're, we're gonna we're gonna go good to the last drop here and it's strange because it has such an incredible smell it is so fragrant it has a citrusy smell it just smells damn good and then you take a taste and you know you kind of cringe your throat just says why did you do this why did you do it repeatedly but that's what I do we, we drink here so last thing about weed and I thought this was really funny is, is doing the research is there's a famous movie it's from I think the 30s or something called reefer madness reefer madness is a cult classic it, it's pretty funny to watch because they're just paranoid almost schizophrenic smoking weed like they're fiending for weed well it turns out a church actually put that together because they wanted to warn parents about the dangers of smoking weed um which is pretty funny it's 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 become a cult classic a lot of people watch it because it's funny and with it being funny it's also been coined as one of the worst movies ever so I don't think it did what it intended to do because if weed is is growing in popularity it just didn't work it maybe perpetuated it and and actually made it more popular because it's such a stupid ass movie but I digress back to see vodka yeah, I, I can't say that I'm a big fan, but I like to try something new, so I tried it. It's got a weird aftertaste in here. Um, I think I need like some crackers or something. I need some Doritos. Uh, shameless plug. But, yeah, this isn't the best taste in the world. So, I can't give it a thumbs up. Can't give it a teak left approved whatsoever. But, it's something new. We came, we saw, we conquered after we drank. And, for anybody coming over... Guess what I got for you? Some nice sea hemp vodka. So, until next episode, we'll see you then. Oh, are we rolling? Well, look, I can't. I, you, I guess you can't ever close this. <laughs> this it's like a cork. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for joining me on another episode of Something New. Uh, where we tried a hemp vodka. If you like the episode, give it that thumbs up, comment, share it. Uh, don't be stingy. Tell all your friends, you know, puff, puff, pass. Um, anyways, I'm out. I'm, I'm going to grab something else to drink. So subscribe to the Teak Life YouTube channel, and we'll see you next episode. All right, I got it. I, I know how to seal it. Scotch tape. Scotch tape always does it. Perfect.